um, this, <laughs> um, this solar eclipse is, um, bringing up a lot of, again, unresolved emotions that, uh, perhaps we have not dealt with or just let go. Um, of course, if we haven't dealt with it, there's no way we can let go of it. Um, and I made a video previously today about, um, what I call my near death experience. And, uh, it wasn't such a bad video. I, meaning emotionally, I kept it intact, but I have been struggling with this headache today. Um, I felt the energy just, um, hitting my face and my head last night. And, um, I knew something was going to be taking place. And so I, I woke up with, um, a slight headache more so on my right side. And, um, I'm not going to explain too much about that, but, um, it went away for a little while. I had my grandbaby today and, uh, um, she made me happy today. So, um, I forgot about my headache, but here it is tonight about 630 Eastern standard time. And I'm feeling a little overwhelmed. Um, I ended up flipping the channels here and trying to find a free movie to watch. And ironically, um, uh, I landed on a movie called heaven is for real. And, um, emotions just began to fill me and the movie hasn't even started. Of course, I've seen this movie, um, back when it came out in 2014, but, um, I know it's stemming from my near death experience and you know, the thing is, is that, and I'm going to post that video prior to posting this one, but, um, the thing is, is that because my mom came and woke me up, I felt robbed of going back home. I have never felt like I belonged here. I never have fit in to what society says is normal. I have made myself fit in. I have pretended to be somebody that I wasn't just to be loved by other people. And at that moment when I was at that greatest peace, being lifted into heaven, being surrounded by this bright white light and these beautiful people who I didn't know yet I was so at peace with I just wanted to go home I knew I was going home but I know my job wasn't done which is why God allowed my mom to come and wake me up but I have held that in all of my life I have and I thought I let this go this past year but as time goes on and you may see this in your life that things that we think we we deal with or let go of come come up out of nowhere it'll just surface out of nowhere and um because the point of it coming back is so you can feel it. God wants us to feel what we have experienced and then let it go. And it's so 
funny because I don't know why. I'm so sad about it. Yes, yes, I look forward to returning home, to having that sense of love and peace again. But, you know, since I began to wake up 14 months ago or so, I have been handed a little bit every day of that same peace that I had before. And my life is beautiful and full of love. And it seems a little counterproductive to be so emotional right now. But this purging is so necessary for us to receive something more beautiful, more graceful, more loving from God, from this universe. Um, I have not emotionally felt this. Even though I may have spoken about it on a couple of occasions, um, whether in videos or to my loved ones, I really haven't let it out like I am right now with these tears. I wanted to go home before. Whereas now, I feel here I am home again, but I look so much forward to returning to where I came from because now I know what it's like, that emotion of what it's like to have a part of home here. It's being able to create the heaven on earth emotional state and being while you're living. And uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, it's something that is necessary for me today in order to move forward as uh, more of my higher self tomorrow. Every time we learn to deal with something instead of suppress it we can send it off with love um, and that's the thing that's the ticket loving every aspect of your life because those pieces are teaching you all about who you are and therefore what you can attract back into your life your future I never felt like I belonged. I felt like an outsider before. And many, many times I have longed to go back home. And many times I have tried to go back home. It just wasn't my time. And my purpose has always been greater than I ever expected and I look forward to fulfilling my purpose now. I have for a long time and every time that I let something go and heal myself, I open up to it more. God shows me a little bit more of my purpose and I know that by me doing this right now with you guys, I am opening up to something beautiful. I don't know what it is, but when you learn to love, when you learn to send your hardships off with love, 
you know that something loving and beautiful is coming back to you. You know, and as I am doing this video, my headache is going away. This is Christy. Much love, health, and healing your way. I am bring purpose to your life. Take care.